Today marks week five of the Reaper's Rewards in The Sims 4. This is a pretty low-key week. Just like last week, I don't think there's a ton of tasks. There are five reward items. Only three are new. So the tra Trad Goth button up top, another Freezer Bony collectible, and the Spectral Spritzer drink recipe, which... Please note, does require level 6 of the mixology skill to actually make this drink. My sim doesn't have any of the mixology skills, so that wasn't an option for me in particular. Um, so this week is just like pretty much every other week. There are two activities that your sim is to complete. One is called an aspiring potion and one is called skilled chef. And you get different amounts of reward points for completing the activities within those two tasks. So pretty short week. I think we're getting to the end here in terms of the Reaper's Reward event. The last week will be next Tuesday, the 29th, which will be two days before the expansion pack comes out. But for those of us who have been sticking in it for this long, you might as well keep it going because why would you stop early? So for the a Inspiring Potion activity, there are only two tasks. Complete a want, which is based on what your sim wants, and that will appear in those little cloud bubbles, of thought bubbles above their head. For my sim, she wanted to listen to classical music, so that was actually a pretty easy one. I was using the gramophone that we got from the week one reward. Um, that's still in her home, so that was pretty simple to do. And then the second activity is to purchase the potion of youth. Now, this is an object you have to get from the reward store, so... I, number one, I had a hard time finding the reward store. So if you click on the aspiration button for your sim, you're able to find the reward store. It actually costs 1,500 reward points, which up until this point, my sim hasn't done a lot to get rewards points. She only had about 400 and something when I first started up my save. There is a cheat that you can enter in if you want to just cheat the rewards points, which is what I did. I actually didn't want to spend a lot of time on this. So the cheat, first of all, you have to do testing cheats enabled true first. Then the cheat is sims.give underscore satisfaction underscore points space and then the number of points you want to give in. Once you've done that, you're able to go into the reward store and actually buy the potion. You don't use the potion in this week's activity. So I'm assuming this is something you're going to need for next week. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. And then for the task called Skilled Chef, you have two activities, Cook Well at Level 10 and Cook Gourmet Meal at Level 7. Now, my sim was, when I started, was only at Cooking Skill 8 and only at Gourmet Cooking Skill 4. So I had a ways to go to complete those two tasks. Now, there are a lot of ways to build the skill you can cook, just keep continually having your sim cook different meals, like making them cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can do single serving so that you don't have a lot of leftovers. You can also buy books. So if you have a bookshelf, you can purchase gourmet cooking books level one through three or regular cooking books level one through three. And then if you have a television, your sim can watch the cooking channel, um, which will give them the regular cooking skill, but doesn't give them the gourmet cooking skills. Those are two separate skills. You have to have the regular cooking skill of, I think, six or seven before you even can unlock the gourmet cooking as an option. Now, I was playing around in Build By when I noticed this new category called Life Events. This came with the new base game update from October 22nd, and this has all the items that you can use for different life events. So if you wanted to throw baby showers, holiday parties like Christmas, um, Halloween, if you wanted to throw wedding events, um, depending on what packs you have, if you have My Wedding Stories, if you have Seasons, um, you can find all of those activity items and decor items in this new menu. I think it makes it easier to sort for sure because new, normally when my sim celebrates holidays like Harvest Fest, I never really decorate because the decorations used to just be randomly all throughout different categories and build by and I wasn't going to go search for it. So I'm lazy. I cho chose to cheat the rewards points but not cheat the skill. So I would say it took about six sim days in game to complete this week's reward event only because my sim was so low on the gourmet cooking skill and low on the regular cooking skill. I also still let my sim sleep and go to work. I didn't cheat any of her needs or anything like that. But other than using, other than cooking 
watching the cooking channel, reading cooking books, or cheating the skills. There's really no way to move up any faster. Um, so that was kind of a challenge too. I wish they would have staggered it a little bit better throughout the weeks. Like for us to be at week five and they already expect us to be at the level 10 cooking skill, they should have had the challenges get us up to that point and a little bit closer. Cause I think last week you only had to get up to like level five. So there's a big gap from five to 10, <laughs> you know, it's like they didn't really explain that super well. Um, but I guess that's part of the challenge. I will say it took me about 45 minutes in real life to, complete this so that was definitely interesting it's definitely been making me play the sims a lot more i think this also made me more invested in the overall outcome of like how my sim turns out i'm kind of curious what the last week's worth of events are going to be i'm sure it's going to tie into a new expansion pack which is also coming out next week but let me know in the comments below have you been sticking in for these five weeks is your game even letting you complete the event i've seen a lot of simmers on the forums and on the official Discord server saying that they've had so many gl glitches or bugs that they have not been able to complete weeks one and two. So they're not even up to date on where we are right now. Hopefully today's patch has fixed some of those issues for people. Please be sure to take out all your mods, take out all your CC. You may even have to repair your game and clear cash for it to work for you. But just let me know in the comments how this event has been going for you. And do you like this one better than the first event that we had over the summer?